Bonjour and welcome to the Tower of Claude. Today I'm going to be doing the 2022 yearly reading for the sign of Libra. Those are general readings, they will not apply to everybody. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If the message does not resonate, you may want to check your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus signs. Or you could also check the Pick a Deck 2022 yearly tower reading um, that I've just published last week. I will give you a card at the end of this reading for it. So I'm going to be pulling one oracle card per month and one tarot card as well for each month and I will go through them um, together. So what energies do we have for 2022 for my Libra viewers? So for January, you have transformation. February, the ice queen. March, sacral portal. April, third eye portal. So lots of chakra, chakra energy for you. May, liberation. June, Inspirational Creation, July, Utopia, August, Crown Portal, another chakra, September, Wisdom, October, Emotional Freedom, November, Oneness, and finally December, Majestic Eminence. Just give me a second. I'm going to try and turn on some more lights. I'm worried that your cards are not well lit. Yeah, that's a little better. I think so. I don't know if you saw a difference, but it looks better to me. Okay. Now let's see what the tarot has to say. So what are the energies for 2022 for my... Libra viewers. Oh, okay, well, this one can't jump. You have the sun. I am not putting that back. That's too good a card. That's for January. I do push up for my decks before recording, just to be clear. So you have the sun for January. For February, you have the five of pentacles. For March, five of wands. April, ace of pentacles. May, the moon. June, the five of swords. July, Six of Pentacles, August, the Emperor, Major Arcana, um, September, Seven of Wands, October, the Fool, another Major Arcana, November, Six of Cups, and December, Justice, Major Arcana again. All right, so. In January, you have a transformation, so metamorphosis, synchronicity, and the unexpected, and the sun, major arcana, so a big heavy hitter when it comes to energies, as opposed to minor arcana that deal with the day-to-day. -day. These energies, the major arcana, are there to make you grow as a person. They are placed on your life journey to make you grow, so, and develop you. The sun is a victory, success, it's warm energy, it's pure happiness and joy. Um, that's coming unexpectedly, apparently, in January. So you're going to start your year with a bang because you're going to get some really, really 
um, serious happiness and joy. It could be news, it could be an opportunity, it could be anything, but this is the best card in the deck. So I couldn't think of a better way to start the year than this. Then in February, you get Ice Queen. Introspection, self-analysis and fortitude. So the month of February is going to be a deep month um, of reflection for you. The Ice Queen makes me think of the Hermit, the um, tarot card, where you go, you isolate yourself and you look at yourself with honesty and you try and find your own truths and what it is you want out of life, who are you. Um, and this takes a bit of courage, obviously, because it's a bit of shadow work going on. But the month of February is when you're going to be doing this kind of work. And it's paired with the Five of Pentacles. And this could be triggered because of a change in your physical world. The Five is a number of change and challenges. And Pentacles or coins are to do with um, work life. So career, jobs, money, financial assets, but also home life. And what I mean by that is buildings, not relationship, but you know, a change of house, or for instance. So this, there's going to be a change in your physical world that's going to trigger you and put you into that um, self-evaluation, shadow work energy in February. And then in March, you get the sacral portal. So that's a chakra energy, that's your second chakra. And it is the center of creativity and intimacy and inhibition. It talks about um, experiencing pleasure so it is just your center of creativity it's related to the water energy and life pleasures creativity intuition and it's talking about again a number five which is a change or challenge but with wants with desires urges and so the five of wands sometimes talk about frictions and um, um, overcoming them focusing on what you want and overcoming those frictions and those confrontations. So you may want to have a look at balancing your sacral chakra. There are some amazing meditations on YouTube you can do. There's some uh, music that you can listen to on YouTube as well to help with this. You can do some yoga. Um, but this will help you overcome those frictions that you're going to be feeling. And it's all to do with your passion. It's your passion center. And then in April, you get the third eye portal. So you're talking, of, you're moving up on the uh, chakra and you're dealing with your third eye, which deals with visions, clairvoyance and clarity and also confusion. And it is paired with the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Ace is the origin, the seed, the brand new beginning. Pentacles to do with your physical world. So this could be, in real terms, it could be a small lump of money, it could be a job offer, a career promotion, um, a relocation, because it could be with new buildings as well. And you're going to feel probably a bit confused, um, so you're going to need to watch out as well with this um, chakra, which may be blocked, and again, you can do yoga and some meditations um, will help you. Um, get out of the confusion related to this brand new opportunity. This is a very good card, the Ace of Pentacles. This is a very exciting opportunity, very real, very tangible. Um, so it's something to be excited uh, about. But it may bring confusion. Sometimes when we get opportunities, it confuses us because it's not what we expected or because it doesn't align with where we are right now in our lives. And then in May, you get liberation, power, fulfillment, and self-attainment. So the way I read the cards and the energies, you are going to get out of the confusion of April, and you're going to take on this opportunity, and this is going to make you feel very good about yourself. Um, you're going to be very self-confident, you're going to feel fulfilled, happy, and empowered. And it is mixed with the moon card which is a major arcana now there are layers to cards in tarot obviously um, and the moon can talk about lack of clarity um, can talk about things that are hidden um, but it can also talk about your creativity that's coming up to the surface and also deeply buried um, feelings and emotions that are coming out um, coming out in the surface and this is 
how you're going to be feeling because these things are coming out and you're feeling very good about it. You're feeling freed. And then in June, you move on to inspirational creation. Alchemy, the elements, innovation. So once you have um, freed yourself and you feel empowered, you then move on to create um, and manifest. And it is um, put together with the Five of Swords. Now, Swords energy is to do with truth communications, but also thoughts. And the Five is a number of um, change. And the Five of Swords represents a breakthrough. Um, doing things your own way. And it may not be accepted by everybody. People may not be happy about it. But this is where the word innovation comes into it. You're going to... You're going to do something your own way because you feel guided to, because you just know you know that it's the right thing to do, and it's going to be innovative, and it's going to create things for you, opportunities. And then in July, you get Utopia, which is absolutely brilliant. So after sticking to your guns and doing things your way, and uh, pushing forward, despite what other people may think, you get peace, serenity, and paradise. And this is paired with the Six of Pentacles, which is six is the number of um, harmony coming after having overcome the challenges of number five. And as you know, Pentacles is to do with your physical world, so it could be work life or home life, but this is going to be a very nice month for you. July is going to be finally getting the peace that you wanted and um, feeling very comfortable and harmonious. And in August, you get the crown portal, another chakra, that is the final chakra, that's the, um, the one above your head. It's divinity, unity and separation, because when your crown chakra is open, you become aware that we are all united, you are, we are all one, and there is no such thing as separation. There's no such thing as um, us being individuals, we're all linked together. Um, so this is very um, enlightening. Um, this is going to be a very spiritual month for you. Um, and it is mixed with the Emperor, Major Arcana. So, as I said, deep um, energy for you in August. The Emperor is um, a very powerful leader. Um, someone who's gone to war, who knows what to do, who plans efficiently um, to bring his troops to success. The Emperor looks forward um, so this awakening that you're going to be feeling spiritually is going to empower you. And in October you get wisdom, psychic intuition and truths. So after this enlightenment that you're going to be um, experiencing, which is going to make you feel powerful, you are going to go on the quest for truth, you're going to follow your intuition, and it's paired with the Seven of Wands. And Seven is number of experience, self-evaluation, assessment. Wands is to do with passion and what drives you. And this is the card of stand your ground and persist. Um, do not drop your wands. Just it's worth it. Um, and you will have the wisdom to know this. And you're going to stand your ground. Because the following month, which is October, you got emotional freedom, vulnerability, flowing and rebalancing. And this is coming with the full major arcana again. And this is the card of new beginnings and um, taking a leap of faith. Um, it's feeling free to take that leap of faith, to, do, to, to go on a new journey, on a brand new beginning. Um, and accepting that with a brand new beginning comes the feeling of vulnerability, obviously, because you're at the beginning of something, it's the unknown, um, but it's just flowing with it, going with the flow, um, and just feeling free to take that step into your brand new beginning. And in November you get oneness. That's funny, I was talking about that with the um, sacral chakra. Balance, patience, divine masculine. Now this talks about understanding that we are all linked, all united. Um, and the Divine Masculine is having the um, embodying the energy of um, taking action, feeling empowered, 
um, patience can come from a place of empowerment and it goes with the six of cups now you've got two sixes in your in your reading which is all about harmony after overcoming challenges and the six of cups is to do with your feelings your emotions and love it talks about harmonious relationships long-term committed relationships also people you've known for a very long time um, and um, sometimes it may refer to some a relationship in the past coming back as well but it's all about balance you see the oneness card and the six of cups is saying that you're going to have very harmonious relationships and then in December, you finish with Majestic Eminence, Priestess, Divine Feminine and Worth. So you had in November the Divine Masculine Energy, and I was talking to you about um, harmonious relationships, committed relationships, and then you've got the counterpart, the Divine Feminine Energy, um, which is all to do with receptivity, um, trusting your intuition, knowing your own worth, to do with justice. Now, justice is a major arcana, and justice is the karma card. It's you reap what you sow. Justice is fair. And when it appears in a reading, it is saying to you that justice is going to be um, made in your favor. It's, uh, you know, as I said, karmic energy. So it's a very good card to have uh, to end the year. So I'm now going to draw one oracle card from the Beyond Lemuria oracle cards. Um, just as a um, another point for you to think of for 2022, something to focus on, maybe some advice. Oh, no, I'm not going to take three. Three is too much. If I'd been two, I would have taken two, but three is a bit too much. Let me see. What am I going to pick for you? this one. So this is the art and this talks about healing. The Lemurians were healers, naturally intuitive and accustomed to navigating energetic based reality. We all have natural healing abilities that are advanced when we deepen our energetic awareness. When we perceive the world beyond the more well-known senses, we start to receive information and wisdom different from that which stems from intellect. By tapping into life force, consciousness, and using this abounding energy alongside focused intention, we realize that anything is possible. Extend the margin of your awareness. Revisit a situation from a broader perspective or higher vibration with a focus on healing. Perhaps the issue is simply an outdated or limiting perception placement. You have the ability to align to a fresh new timeline inspired by wholeness. So you know I mentioned that your reading had a lot of um, chakra energy. Um, and I did say to you that there may be blockages in those chakras that you need to address by doing some yoga, some meditation. And I also said to you that um, you're going to have... Sorry, I think it's at the end. Yes... The, you had the card of um, priestess, so intuition, um, receptivity, and justice. And it's talking about looking at this past situation and heal from it, um, tapping into your intuition and looking at it from a different point of view so that you can heal. So this was an, um, just a point to ponder upon um, for 2022. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. Um, I have uploaded my December tarot readings. I will leave your cards right here somewhere. And also the pick a deck for 2022 tarot reading if you would like to have a look at this and choose your deck. Um, thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it um, or if you have some thoughts on this reading, just write me a note in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. I wish you a fantastic 2022 and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.